Good morning everyone, it's Cindy Pinar and it's Do It Yourself Hair Straightening System Day. This perfect hair list, Amazon, has a 7 blend protein formula that leaves the hair smooth, frizz free and shiny for up to 12 weeks. So what do you need to do it yourself with a hair straightening system? I need Amazon 7 blend kits which contains a perfect list shampoo that helps to remove residue and open the cuticles. And then of course, I need the Protein 7 Blend Perfect Hair List. I also need a detangler comb or brush, wet brush is the absolute best. And then I need sectioning clips, a timer, tint brush and bowl, some gloves, a cape, blow wave brush, a fine tooth comb. I also prefer using wet brush epic fine tooth carbon comb because the carbon does not melt when you use it with the straightener and it also has anti-static anti-frizz effects. I need a dryer and then I need a straightener that can have settings or that I can change the heat settings. So I prefer using a titanium plate straightener because it helps to smooth the product from the outside in, sealing that product onto the hair cuticle. Okay, so how to do it myself. Um, as I'm physically going to do it on my own hair, I will explain each step as I do it. Wash the hair with the perfect clean to remove residue and open up the cuticles. Thereafter, we will towel dry and leave a bit of moisture so that we can apply the protein and use a fine tooth comb to smooth it through. So as I want to do it evenly, I will section my hair into sections and use a tint brush so that I can work just like one centimeter away from the scalp. Um, then I will leave the product in my hair for 40 minutes because I have fine hair, but if you have more coarse hair, then you can leave it up to 60 minutes. After that whole process, you will rinse the hair thoroughly with hot water, towel dry, and then you will blow wave the hair, um, evenly applied heat, and you just blow wave your hair. Uh, then we will resection the hair and use fine sections to smooth the product into the hair. We're going to do about 10 pass overs. Uh, you can set your straightener 180 to 200 degrees, but it's going to depend on how much heat your hair can withstand. So you will do it a bit tighter and slower um, at the root areas. And as you move to the ends, so you're just not going to close your straightener as hard. You're going to just want to open it a little bit and then smooth over the ends. Enjoy! 